Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. A bunch of you guys have asked me questions specific to mini shells, and that's exactly what this video is going to be about today. Specific to semi-automatic shotguns. I've gotten hundreds of questions around, can you shoot the mini shells in a semi-auto shotgun? We're about to find out today. Today I've got a Hatfield SAS 12 gauge, if you're not familiar. It is a semi-automatic shotgun. And then I also have a TriStar KRX. Absolutely love both of these shotguns. Hatfield's more of a traditional long gun, semi-auto. It's got a fiber optic front sight. Really like that shotgun. Got over 500 shells through this one. Zero problems. KRX is pretty new to me. I only have about 100 shells through it, but same story. Absolutely love the KRX. It's a little bit more of an AR tactical style. Love them both, but strictly for this video, will they run the mini shells? We are about to find out. But both of these shotguns run real good. So real quick, let's knock all these mini shells off. Hatfield SAS, is this thing loaded? Probably is, this is my home defense gun. Saw that that baby's working real good. Five, bang, bang, bang. Let's check this baby out. Let's run five through this rapid fire. Damn. Mm, I think I like this one a little bit better, but both of these shotguns run real good. I tell you what, let's do. Let's start with the Hatfield SAS. Load up some mini shells into that thing. See what happens. First, what I'm gonna do here is just load one into the chamber, close it, and then fire it. Surely, it'll at least fire a mini shell that way. I don't see why it wouldn't. Put the safety bag on. It ought to fire a mini shell just like that. One in the chamber, boom. Okay, so, let's see here. Hatfield SAS Semi-Auto. It fired the one just by putting it in the chamber, had enough power to leave the action open, and it ejected it. Let's do the same test with the KRX, just loading one straight up and then firing it. All right, same thing here. Put the safety on first. Let's just load one straight up into the barrel, release the action, fire this baby. That one did fire but it didn't have enough boogie to push back this heavier action that this AR style shotgun has. So next, let's load both these shotguns up, see what happens. I don't know what's gonna happen. Judging by that, it's obviously not gonna kick back and grab another one, but we're gonna go for it anyway, so I'm gonna get back to the Hatfield. I have no idea how many this will hold, but I'm going to go ahead and put one in the tube and then that loaded, if you saw what I did there, I put one in the tube and then loaded it. Let's see what happens. There's one in the tube, two, three, four, five, six. So this has got one in the chamber, six in the tube. I'm thinking it probably won't work just because they're shorter and how the gun's set up, but it's at least gonna fire the first one we know, so let's see what happens. So, it got hung up there. It didn't eject it like the first one and let me show you what happened with the next ones following in. If you can see there, there's one shell and then another one followed in behind it. Try to give you the look through there too. It got both of those shells jammed up in there. You can see the brass shining. There's two trying to feed. So <clears throat> now 
are we going to be able to get those suckers out of there is going to be the question. Without smashing my fingers all up. Well, yeah, that's what I'll do. Push. Ah! Okay, I did smash my thumb. Ooh, Moses. That really hurt. But, I'm just going to sit here and... Now i got my fingers scared to put them up in there anywhere. And then, once I racked it again, it did the same thing. It did a double feed. So, that's a fail. And I'm not going to smash my thumb again on camera. I'll do that off camera. Let me put this one to the side. So, one at a time, absolutely shot out and even ejected out of this hat field. But, trying to load some into the tube, eh, epic fail. Let's try and see what happens out of the KRX AR style semi-auto. Whew. I really smashed my thumb. That sucker hurt. Now these, that almost looks kind of silly there, loading those in there, but they'll go in there just like a, the other 12 gauge would. There's three. And then four. And five. So that's a full mag there. And remember when we tried to just shoot one, it didn't have enough boogie. Oh man, and we already got to fire the first one. Yep. It did, but it didn't eject that spent round. And even that one, when I pulled the action back, it did not eject that shell all the way. So, oh man, my table just about fell over. And even when I let the action go, it didn't load that shell straight in. It tried to load it sideways. So, what did we find out here? I don't want to lose those suckers. I just dropped a good one, and those babies are expensive. There it is. Yep, found it. So, short story here is the mini shells will not shoot out of a semi auto unless you fire one at a time. So, if you want to take your sing, if you want to take your semi-auto out, hunt with it, blink with it, just like it's a single shot, have at it. Reduced recoil, still a lot of fun if that's all you got to work with. But I will say that wouldn't really make a whole lot of sense because you can get the straight up ammo these babies for a lot cheaper than what you can get those small ones for. For these Aguilas, I paid $16 for 20 rounds. So that's pretty pricey if you're just going out to plank. You might as well get you some of the cheap stuff. But hey, it helped us out with this test. It would be useful, you know, home defense or what have you. You wanna have an extra two rounds in there, you know. Hey, have at it, I'm all about it. But purpose of this video those jokers will not shoot out of a semi-auto but we can't end the video like that that would be way too boring let's load these shotguns up and see if we can have a little fun shooting some stuff out of the sky or something let's see what we can do all right now i've got some clays out i've got this baby loaded up full which i think is four rounds i'm just gonna have a little bit of fun and see what we can do i haven't shot any trap or skeet in a while yeah make sure I don't blow my camera up there but let's start off with just trying to rabbit roll one straight down away from me I have no idea if this is even gonna work or not but hopefully we catch that rabbit being blown up on camera <laughs> that rabbit exploded the second it hit the ground let's try that again I need a better rabbit thrower is what I need. Let me do this a little bit softer. Well, it broke and I had to gun on safety. So let's try to just throw something up and shoot it. Maybe that'll work better. I don't have much here cause the tree canopy, but we're still gonna try it. Smoke that baby. 
I tell you what, when it comes to having fun shooting guns, it's hard to beat shooting clays with a 12 gauge or plinking with 22s, but this is a whole lot of fun. I didn't even aim that one. I don't know if you could tell. I kind of shot that sucker from the hip. That was lucky. Let's see if we can do it again. Get that one. Let's try a frisbee throw with the left hand. Give me more time to aim. That was pretty sad. Do I have one more? Yep. One more. We got to end with this gun on a bang like that first one, smoking them. I missed, but it didn't break. Let me load one more. Last try with the Hatfield. Them. It's nice seeing that cloud of dust. Let's get out the KRX, have a little fun with it. A lot of people ask me what my favorite shotgun is, and I'll tell you right now. That way you don't have to ask me. My favorite shotgun of all time is my Weatherby PA08. It's a pump gun. I got a deer slug barrel with it. That's my favorite shotgun because my dad gave it to me. Now, if you were to ask me what's my favorite semi-auto, without a doubt, it's this TriStar KRX AR style that I'm shooting here today. Tell you what, I got six rounds here. I'm going to go ahead and load them all up into this sucker because it can hold five plus one. So, I just threw my trash in the trash pile and I threw the magazine with it. I'm telling you, I cannot talk and do things at the same time. So, load this up. Then put one more in the mag. And then, we're going to have some more fun with this KRX. Let's see what we can make happen here. This, I have a red dot on it. I've never shot skeet using a red dot, but we're about to find out. At what I'm doing here, I may not even aim like the last time, but... It's about to be a whole lot of fun. Let's see if I can do like the first shot I did last time. Let's do another one. I like this hip shooting clays. This is a lot of fun. Missed that one, but it rolled down the hill, and I'm not going to chase it. I think we got three shots left. I'm going to actually try to use the red dot on this one, throw a little bit higher. And I'm going to go grab that one. I missed it. So this one, I'm going to throw it up over my shoulder, shoot it like that. No mirror. I got no mirror. See what we can do here. And get it on camera, that'll be even harder. We'll see it in the footage. What do we got left? We got one in the mag, one in the chamber, and we got two clays left. So let's chunk some more up shooting from the hip quick. Oh. I don't know what I did there, but I just wasted a clay safety. Well, at least that's being safe. Oh, wait, no. I had one that had an eject. Well, we got one shell left. We got one clay left. Let's set this up on the tree branch and use the red dot. Can y'all see that? Yeah. Right about there in the camera. That's about, oh, I don't know, 12, 15 yards away. I'm going to look through the red dot and shoot that clay. That red dot is a banger on this shotgun. I almost said rifle. It's pretty much set up like a rifle. And I dig it. So, what did we learn in this video? It's always a whole lot of fun shooting shotguns, especially the semi-autos. 
and two your little baby shells will not feed in a semi-auto but thanks for watching the video guys this was a whole lot of fun big shout out and a big thanks to the heavy metal guns and outdoors channel everybody go check them out and subscribe